Welcome back. The high school hockey season in North Dakota is ramping up and Jody has highlights from all four quarterfinals of the EDC playoffs. But first, we have to show you the highlights of the biggest Class B matchup in the state from last night. It was two versus three and it came down to a one point victory. So Jody, good to see you. We've showcased <laughs> some exciting finishes this winter. How does last night's game between second ranked Hillsborough Central Valley and third ranked Thompson compare? Boy, it was right up there, Kelly. This game had the atmosphere. The stands were packed for the JV game. It was a close game also, the really the entire way. The crazy part is that there's a good chance these teams meet again for the Region 2 final. That would be their third meeting of the year. But Grafton Park River and Fordville Lincoln, Park River, Fordville Lincoln might have something to say about that. Anyway, let's get to the highlights. The Burroughs Edge Thompson 58-55 in the first meeting. Hayden Overby has been absolutely great this year for the Tommies. He's averaging 13 points, nine boards a game. This bucket puts the Tommies up eight. Yes, up eight, the largest lead of the game, but we've seen how battle-tested the Burroughs are. Carson Hennings guard with the layup. Burroughs go into the halftime, trailing by two. Second half, the big man Jack Camrood gives the Burroughs the lead. On to the fourth we go. Hillsborough trailing by one when Camrood hits Ryan Trough, Grubin, and how about that? The big three. The Burroughs are back on top of back and forth we go. Overby with the long pass and Caden Schwabe gets into the lane and finishes the bank. Under a minute to go now. Thompson trailing by one. Overby finds a cut in Cole Sorby and he's going to get fouled and go to the line. He knocks both free throws down. Thompson now on the right side of the scoreboard. They lead by one with 27 seconds left. Elliot Rotfold, head coach for the Burroughs, calls a timeout. 13 seconds left, down one, a familiar name, scores the game-winning bucket. Carson Henning's guard, might as well just call him Shredder. The Tommy's desperation shot at the buzzer, no good. The Burroughs win in dramatic fashion again, 58 to 57. I just try to make plays for the team, do, do what I can to help the team win. Tell them the ball screen for me and take it to the hole, see what can happen. He's just one heck of a player. I know we can we can trust him. He's just a sophomore, but we can trust him with any any situation we need. We can trust him to get that ball anytime, get that bucket. He played 32 minutes tonight. He's been uh, battling the flu over the weekend. You know, uh, legs weren't quite there, but when the game's on line, you put the ball in his hand and made a great play. What a great high school basketball game. So mark that one down is the Carson Hennings guard flu game. Just like MJ, right? All of a sudden, the Burroughs are looking more and more like a contender to repeat as state champs. Remember, Kyle Hennings guard... Carson's older brother was the guy who hit that thrilling buzzer beater to win the state championship last year. It's their second win for the Burroughs against a ranked opponent in the last five days. Well, let's skate to the ice. Quarterfinal night in the East region. Let's take a look at these highlights. Top seed Grand Fork Central made pretty quick work of newcomer Cheyenne. Mitch Idolsky beats everyone in the puck, turns around, hits UND football commit Zach Murphy, who's also pretty good at hockey. 1-0, the crowd going wild. Second period, Knights with a power play. One-timer Hunter Moreland. With a name like Hunter, you almost have to have a shot like that. Central rolls into the semis with a 7-0 win. How about Red River, the two seed, put together a dominant performance of its own against Sal Shanley. Ten minutes into the game, Landon Hoganson going to rip a shot and it's deflected in by UND commit Jackson Koontz. 19 goals in 19 games now for Koontz, who's just a freshman. The Riders were just a step quicker in this game. Dane Montgomery cleaning up the rebound to make it 2-0. Boy, Red River's pretty good. These guys are really, really skilled. Ethan Scheffler to Mason Salquist, and the leading scorer in the East lights the lamp. Red River ends up winning 7-0. The Riders have outscored their last five opponents by, get this, a combined 28-1. Red River gets the winner of Davies and Grafton Park River in the semis. The Eagles won both games by two goals in the regular season against the Spoilers, but they left no doubt last night. The pressure is on. Andrew Larson makes the first save here, but Jay Buckholtz strikes on the rebound. That's a player that just gets the job done. Buckholtz with 13 goals on the year. They strike again a few minutes later. Jacob Matheson, another senior on this Eagles team, gets his own rebound and swats it out of midair. How about that? A little baseball on the hockey rink. Davies scores four goals in the first. They outshot the spoilers 63 to 20 to notch a 7-2 win. Now, I probably saved the best for last year. The 4-5 matchup. Devils Lake, the 5 seed, led 2-0 after the first period. Firebirds goaltender Regan Rule was making the rules and the saves early. Here's your Valentine's moment of the game. A little push, a little shove. 
In front of a huge home crowd, Fargo North eventually found its own fire in the second period. Now tied at two apiece when Mike Hulquist wrestles away the puck, hits a cutting Caleb Friddle for the go-ahead goal. It's a 3-2 North lead going into the third when they really find a rhythm. Off the turnover, uh, Chandler Ibach to Friddle again, and that's going to make it 5-2. They add one more for good measure. Brant Kolpak's going to find his good friend, Mr. Ibach. This North team can be sneaky. They play well together. They have fun, something they started doing in the second period last night to secure a semifinal showdown with Central. Just a, we just got a little fire up, you know? We were a little jittery, like I said. And we just need some coaching that just fired us up. And pace is a little more up, and we just move the puck a little better, and we end up bearing some goals. We, we got a great team. We work hard. We got a good coaching staff that, that gives us the right tools to, to beat good teams like Grand Fork Central. And we have the work ethic and, and the talent and the goaltender to do that. Pretty critical getting that first win. Now the date with the Knights will be a tough task for Norris, but this is a Spartans program that has really turned things around. Over the last three years, they combined for six wins. Last night, they notched win number nine. The semifinal and loser out games are Friday at Purple Arena. The West Region Tournament begins tomorrow on Minot with Century and Bismarck as the favorites to reach the title game. The Patriots are 13-0 against West competition this winter. We'll recap both of those tournaments come Monday, Kelly. All right, great stuff per usual. Thank you so much, Jody. Coming up after the break, we will stay on the prep scene, but move to South Dakota. Jason Andera has your SD High School report when Midco Sports Tonight returns. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics.